Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. Uh, I'm going to attempt to kind of go over uh, several different style RC boats. Uh, if you're if you're thinking about getting into the hobby or you're in the hobby and you're just curious about other boat types, um, this is the video for you guys. I'm, I'm going to touch base on each hull, kind of go over some of the advantages, some of the disadvantages for each hull type, uh, power systems, uh, skill level, uh, where you run your boat, how big the body of water is, tunability. I'm going to try to touch base on, on, on all the little topics that, are, that I get asked the most. Okay, so um, if you're curious, if you're, if you're just getting into boating or you're, you're into boating or you just want to get a new boat, stick around. Big B here with Ankle Ours. Let's get to it. Basically, uh, you can get your RC boats in a few different ways. Okay, you could get ready to runs, which are basically ready to go right out the box. They come with your motor, your servo, your speed control. Some of them, like this guy here, had a battery included. Okay, remote, the whole nine. All right, so that's a ready to run RTR. You can get an almost ready to run, which comes with your hull, a motor, and an ESC basically you throw a servo in it and add a radio you're ready to go okay uh, you can get kits okay you can get a kit that's a wooden boat it comes as a kit basically like this balsa wood you put together and build it yourself okay this is a, a shrimp outrigger kit um, speaking of outrigger this is an outrigger okay this came as a bare hull okay you can buy the bare hull and and build your boat the way you want to build it kind of like this outrigger or my delta force 23 here it's a bare hole you put your electronics in your radio motor esc you can choose it all and build it yourself <laughs> i like little boats and i just can't lie that's basically the three or four different ways you can get your boat ready to run almost ready to run a kit or a bare hole and build it yourself you can also build your boat from scratch which is what this little little kneeler right here it's an all balsa wood scratch built boat okay i build it 100 percent from scratch i'll uh my add motor motor mount hardware the whole nine okay nice so um so now that i got that kind of out the way i'm gonna go into the th three main style holes you can get that's readily available like i said this is a a v hole okay the v holes they basically ride right on the keel of the boat one one ride surface okay uh v holes will handle calm rough water uh they don't really care i mean they they perform well in in any any condition 30 knots and no smoke come on Woo! <laughs> v holes in the rc world are fun to tune okay they've got lots of hardware back here that's fully tunable you got trim tabs uh turn fins and a strut okay you got your rudder here all right they're fun to run okay and these like a mono hull if you're getting into the hobby or you've never drove a boat before a mono hull is like the way to go you guys it's it's a fun boat and, and it's for advanced boaters as well okay they're they're uh they're they're great all around platform all right up next we got a catamaran okay catamarans are a little bit different than a mono hull okay you can see the catamaran has basically two points kind of like a hydroplane but unlike a, a mono hull a catamaran has two two sponsons that it rides on okay then you got your ride pads all right um catamarans are basically a little faster than a mono hole, okay, or a V style hole. Full trigger. Uh, because they have less ride surface, that makes them faster. All right, but a catamaran doesn't handle water, rough water, as well as a mono hole would, would handle, okay. A catamaran, unlike a mono hole, has no turn fins no trim tabs to tune okay catamarans are tuned with weight distribution forward and back to get the center of gravity right to get a better faster ride you also have strut adjustments to play with this here is is 
this is like a starter boat all the way. Okay, it's a pro boat, Miss Geico 17. Okay, anybody can run that boat. As these boats get larger, the difficulty gets larger. Oh, it landed it with any RC boat, really. Uh, the third here, the third we got is a hydroplane. Okay, hydroplanes are extremely fast. Okay, they've got two two ride surfaces just like a catamaran. Okay, the ride surfaces are basically half the length of the catamaran. All right, reducing ride surface dramatically, increasing speed and handling. All right. it, it basically runs on three points. One, two and then three where the propeller is, all right? Uh, hydroplanes have a turn fin, just like a monohull. The monohull turn fins are located on the back of the boat. Basically, a hydroplane is designed to corner just as fast as it'll go in a straight, okay? Um, hydroplanes like calm water. Catamarans like calm, uh, choppy water. A monohull likes calm, choppy or rough water okay it performs good in any any water condition i'm basically just touching base on these boats there's a lot more to it you guys i know i'm probably leaving a lot out uh the video is going to be long as it is so i'm just kind of trying to touch base for the absolute beginner to get them kind of uh set on, on a on a whole type okay so don't bust my chops here okay boy so now i'm going to take it into a couple different spin-offs of like a hydroplane and catamaran style hull okay you got an f1 style hull i mean these boats this is a little boat this is like a toy boat but this is just for illustration purposes like i said the boats are going to get bigger as the video goes on um a f1 style hull all right is designed like a, like a catamaran it has the two sponsons that it rides on Okay, uh, basically rides on the back third of the boat, just like a catamaran. Unlike a catamaran, this boat right here likes slick comb water. All right, this is a race style boat. Okay, these boats, a larger boat, of course, will take a turn just as hard as a hydroplane with a turn fin. Okay, F1 style holes don't have a turn fin. All right, they're just like a catamaran. They're just more compact and robust. Okay, now... Then you have your hydroplane spinoff, which is basically our outrigger style hull. Okay, outrigger style hulls right on the front portion, okay, of the boat. All right, rides on the sponsons here, reduces the drag. Three points of contact, one, two, three on the sponsons. Okay, my opinion, my opinion now, a rigger, a rigger style hydroplane. Is if you're wanting to go fast, okay, if you want to go fast and you're past the beginner part of the boating, a rigger is going to get you there, okay? These things are blistering fast in a straight and they're just as fast in a corner, just like a hydroplane is, okay? Uh, the difficulty, the difficulty level goes up with a hydroplane style hull, okay? Hopefully you guys kind of got the gist of it so far, so far. I hope I'm kind of making things clear. I have a tendency to be a little repetitive. I apologize. So I'm going to put these guys right here up. Let's get some, uh, some bigger boats out, some scale boats, okay? Nice. All right, so I've got a few scale boats out, okay? You, you notice I left this hydroplane out because this boat actually started off as a Atlas Vans hydroplane build, and I just kind of did my own thing with it. You know, I didn't want to go with the Atlas Van lines, but I kind of did, okay? So I left it out. RC boats are fun. You know, this is a Horizon Harbor tugboat, okay? Uh, you can have fun with them. You can, you can accessorize them, build them to scale, weather them, you know, have fun with the builds. It doubles as a recovery boat. It has these two big uh, forks that go on the bow of the boat there that will co recover flipped boats, all right? Um, I've also got a scale sport fishing boat here. This is a 100% scale, like wood custom boat that I built this past winter. All right. So, um, 
This is also another category, all right? Nine times out of 10, your scale boats are not gonna be super fast unless you get into the scale hydroplane world. These boats are extremely fast. They look realistic if they're done right. And um, so yeah, yeah, this is uh, another another aspect of the hobby that, that people like really get into, okay? So I'm gonna put these guys up. Let's get a couple more boats out. <laughs> different mono hull boats out on the bench here okay uh, we got the aquacraft mini mono the pro boat recoil 17 this is the delta force 23 the brand new v2 sonic wake uh and like i said the delta force 35 um this boat and this boat is a fiberglass hull okay these came as a bare hull i actually built these boats from scratch installed all my electronics in it this is a brushless boat all right brushless electronics lipo batteries okay um like this is for like the advanced builder all right boater like if you're a beginner then you would want to start off with something like this Ooh, the recoil is brushless it's a beginner brushless boat unlike the miss geico here which is a 17 inch brushed boat okay this boat's going to be a little bit slower than say a recoil or a mini mono all right it's got brushed electronics uh brushed electronics is great for the younger boater you've got brushless power and brush power for electric boats you've also got nitro and gas uh this video is dedicated to electric boats okay uh brushless power is going to give you more torque more rpm less maintenance okay these are water cooled most boats are water cooled all right you've also got outrunner brushless motors that are air cooled okay you got speed controls these are electronic speed controls that are water cooled as well um some of the beginner boats scale boats uh have brushed motors these motors require a little bit more attention they're not quite as fast but uh they're efficient they're efficient so uh it just depends on what you're trying to do, what kind of boat you get. It depends on what kind of power it comes with. So uh, there's a couple little options. You can upgrade. These are uh, stock motors. You can get upgrade motors for boats and so on. It's, it's a lot to it. Like I said, I'm just touching base here. Fast, brushless, beginner style boat. You can't get these two boats anymore. Okay, this was a race-ready boat, the Mini Mono. Uh, the Recoil, not so much. Um, this boat right here is a custom build. Full custom fiberglass Delta Force. All right. Uh, the Pro Boat Sonic Wake is a great beginner boat if you've been in the RC hobby. Okay. Um, it's 36 inches long. It's a freaking beast. Brushless electronics. Big, big brushless electronics. Takes 6S, 22 volts, okay? Uh, that's something you need to, like, if you're interested in getting a big boat like this, you need to do some research. You need to learn about uh, charging procedures for a big boat like that. Uh, maintenance, care, okay? These little boats, eh, not so much. You got maintenance and stuff like that, but not as much as you would with a larger boat okay um this one's 23 inches all right it's a fast electric boat okay custom built custom built that's the beauty about the rc boat hobby okay not a lot of working parts in these things okay you don't have three differentials to worry about you just got a motor drive shaft propeller rudder strut well this has trim tabs and turn fins and a speed control okay they're basically pretty basic i mean just about anybody can can you know, build an RC boat if you're willing to learn, okay? So, um, I'm going to put the mono holes up, all right? Drop a comment if you guys have questions, all right? Uh, some of my subscribers would be glad to help you guys out, myself included. So, uh, feel free to drop a comment if you got a question about any of the boats you see here today. So, I'm going to put these guys up. Let's get a little, another group out. Maybe we'll do the catamarans next. <laughs> I got the catamarans on the block, all right? We got beginner, intermediate, and boss level, okay? All right, so this is a brushed catamaran, like I said earlier. It's got speeds uh, average around, I guess, around 15 miles an hour, all right? You got your any intermediate Pro Boat Blackjack 24, okay? This boat right here, uh, out the box, you'll do around 35 miles an hour, okay? <clears throat> Great boat. It's freaking awesome. This is probably one of my favorite builds right here. Um, this boat, as it is right now, uh, 6S capable, 22 volts. It'll do about 63 miles an hour 
on a good day <laughs> on a good day uh then we got the boss we got the boss the big pro boat blackjack 42 okay this is boat is 8s capable basically I, that means it's it'll take uh up to around 29 30 volts of power okay lipo batteries uh you got a 4685 1350 kv motor 8s capable boys this right here it's a 42 inch powerhouse okay 73 73 miles an hour 73 miles an hour is my top speed with this one 63 and around 15 now i'm i'm actually about to start my brushless conversion on this uh that's the nice thing about getting a brushed boat you can upgrade brushed boats and make them go faster all right you can basically upgrade any boat okay that's the beauty they're simple they're simple you guys now let's get out the pro boat ul19 couple of hydroplanes and we'll wrap it up <laughs> Woo! So we got the hydroplanes out. This is the Pro Boat U19. Okay, this is the Dr. Jets 120 Atlas Van. This is a wood kit, like I said earlier. Uh, these boats right here are, are high performance. I mean, you just look at it. It's, it's got high performance written all over it. Okay, if you if you've uh, if you've graduated from the mono holes and you, and you and you got a handle on like a catamaran. All right. Basically, the, the very last step, the very last, the upper level, boss level, is is a hydroplane. Okay, these boats, they're 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 fast, very powerful. This boat's 6S capable, 22 some odd volts. Okay, um, it's got all the boats I showed you today have water cooling. All right, one of these, this is a water pickup from the rudder. All right, it cools down the motor. Secondary water pickups cool down the electronics control okay you can see the water cooling going to the motor right there all right um like i said they're fast all right not nine times out of ten a hydroplane is going to use like a pitchy or a big prop to get those high speeds okay so with a boat like this you you need to be uh educated i guess is the best way to put it educated in the functionality of a boat in the water cooling how a motor works propeller ch like choices okay uh like this little guy right here this is the only boat i own that is not water cooled this motor is air cooled it's an outrunner motor compared to the inrunner style motors in all my other boats basically what i'm trying to say you guys is there's a boat for everybody okay regardless of the body of water you can run these boats in a pool okay small backyard farm ponds all right with brush brushed electronics smaller boats all right larger lakes okay there's a boat for everybody all right you uh you, you're just getting into the hobby the smaller boats are your ticket okay then you kind of work your way up it's always good to have a couple boats just in case your boat breaks down on the water you got a little recovery boat to get your boat back all right you've got options you guys you got kits you can build just bare holes you can build you've got ready to runs high performance ready to runs you can get right out the freaking box and do 50 60 miles an hour out the box all right um it's a amazing freaking hobby to be in right now you guys it really is it really is there's a lot of new technology that's come out that's made the hobby extremely competitive and fun so um, I appreciate you guys watching, man. I, I really hope I helped you guys out. Some of you know, new boaters make a decision with your boat choice, okay? I'm going to quit jacking my jaws, all right? If you found this video helpful, subscribe, like, comment, okay? If you got a question, comment. I'm sure one of my subscribers, myself included, will help you out with your, with your question, okay? Stay fast. Big B here with Ironclad RC. See you next time, boys.